Welcome back to the magic world of computer science. My name is Dino and today I will give you all the secrets that you need to pass all your math classes at university. Let's get right into it. My first tip is actually for your time before university, which is high school. Before starting your university journey, you should know all the basics about math from high school. You probably already had some basic calculus, some basic linear algebra, some basic trigonometry. But the most important thing from high school is actually algebra in general. You should know how to solve equations, inequations, how to calculate linearly or algebraically and yeah, basically know your basics. So now that you're at university, this is my second tip for you. And it's about the textbook. Textbooks are really underappreciated and really underrated. The thing about textbooks is actually that they cover like the theoretical stuff, but they also give you examples step by step how to solve typical problems, typical exam questions. So if you're like me and you need like a step by step guide how to solve stuff, textbooks are your way to go. Trust me on this one. And I know that university professors uh, plug their textbook at the start of every semester, but you should really do your research on the internet, type in what's the best discrete math, linear algebra, calculus textbook, and probably buy that one. Trust me on this one, buy a textbook. If you don't like paper or you, if you don't have money to buy a textbook, just go to your university's library and ask if they can give you out a PDF version of the textbook that you need. You will be surprised how many textbooks are actually available as a PDF version. My next tip is about lectures, and this is a controversial one. So hear me out. We all had good and bad professors, and if you happen to have a bad professor, his lecture will probably only consist of him reading out his lecture slides or his textbook. He will give no examples, no explanations. He will answer questions in a really dry way. If your professor is this kind of professor, please skip the lecture. And I know you will probably feel bad at first, but your time is really precious. And especially while preparing for exams, you should use every second efficiently. So if that means skipping a lecture, but therefore working for 90 minutes on your own at home, do so. Your goal should be to efficiently study for an exam. So if the lecture is a waste of time and if you fall asleep in the lecture, you feel bored, you can't really understand the professor, just skip the lecture and work on your own. My next tip is actually for the period two or three weeks before the exam. Most professors will hand out old exams or mock exams to the students so they can try and solve them as preparation to the final exam. And please do so. Old exams are the best preparation for your final exam. While solving old exams, you should try to identify the structure of the final exam. Most exams have actually a structure. For example, question one and two are about some basics. Question three is a proof. Question four is about a specific topic. Question five or six are applied knowledge. So try to identify a structure and prepare yourself for the structure and for the type of questions. Also, it is really important to understand how the questions are asked. In college classes, the questions are a bit trickier. They will never ask you to calculate A plus B. In most cases, you will have to understand the questions first, what they want from you, and then try to solve it. The next tip is actually for the period one or two days prior to the final exam. And this tip is about the cheat sheet. In most math classes, you will be allowed to bring a cheat sheet with you. What is a cheat sheet? A cheat sheet is a piece of paper where you can write anything you want. However, there is a wrong way of doing it and most students do it this way. Most students try to compress four months worth of lectures on a paper, which is almost impossible, so they start writing really small and they lose the overview for their cheat sheet. This is all useless because they probably don't even understand their own cheat sheet. So this is how to do it in the proper way. You actually want to write down examples because a formula on its own at university level will not help you much. You should only write down examples and step-by-step -step instructions how to solve certain problems. While doing all the exams, you probably identified two, three or four questions that are frequently asked. So please write examples and step-by-step -step guides how to solve the most common questions on exams. 
If you haven't learned the mathematical theory for some questions, you will probably not get them right on your exam because mathematical theory is not as easy as, oh, I have seen this question before, I will know how to do it. So if you struggle with some mathematical proofs, write those down. The last tip is actually for the time during the exam. And it is about time management. So this is how you should probably take your final exams. In most math classes, you will have from 60 to 90 minutes to solve an exam paper. And this is how I will do it. The first two minutes of the exam, you actually only read the questions and try to identify questions that are familiar to you. Because remember, the only way to pass a math class is actually by obtaining points in your final exam paper. So you should always start by securing points. So if question four is familiar to you, start with that one. After that, I don't know, do question seven if you know you can secure some points. And after you finish your secured points questions, you continue with question one and go down the paper. If you get stuck up onto one question, just skip it. Continue with the exam, your time is precious during the exam. And the most exam questions are even impossible to solve in the time frame that they give you, so just continue. And if you have extra time, come back to it. So this is it. Now you're ready to rock your math classes. If you like this video, please leave a like and comment, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.